in love you were with the Instapot during COVID. Everyone sharing their latest Instant Pot recipes. And now, oh, the Instapot. It may just be sitting somewhere sad and dejected like all those other small appliances. Gathering dust. You know what? It, yes. it sits on top of my refrigerator like a major award. Well, it does. It like never goes away. on the mantle. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, today I'm here to help all the four to five folks fall back in love with the Instapot. Are there appliances besides the Instapot that have also gone to the wayside? My you? Ninja Blender, I was all about eating, drinking smoothies every morning, gonna uh -huh. get fit, gonna get healthy, and then slowly but surely, I probably haven't used it in a few months. Okay. The food processor, the little Cuisinart chopping thing that we mm. thought was so cool for about a week. Right. Yeah. Okay. For about a week. My yeah. toaster oven. You oh, I love toaster the toaster oven. oven. Heck no. Oh, I don't know yeah. what I would use it for. I'm just oh glad gosh, that you really. wanted to say air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have one, and I want Because I was about to debate. Uh -huh. <laughs> about whether I love my air fryer. Me too. I, I use say it that every day. All right. So Instapot or Crock-Pot, this is the weekend it makes a comeback. Why? Because it's going to be cold. Mm -hmm. And don't you think that cold weather just screams yes. Crock-Pot, Instapot, yes, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What types of things, friends? Stews, mm -hmm. soups. Soups, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you inspired me with my most made in, uh, crock pot. Oh, white chicken chili. White chicken chili. I oh. love me the white chicken I do chili. Too. She mm -hmm. has a great, easy recipe. So too. I think part of the whole Instapot issue, why we have like put it to the wayside and why it's on top of your refrigerator, is that the recipes were supposed to be easy, but they turned out to be like complicated sometimes. Mm. And so you might want to be reminded that really easy is best. Instapots multi cookers are meant to make life easier and make cooking easier. So the best way to utilize them is to stick to what they do best. So think about tough cuts of meats, beans, stews, soups, and curries. Those are great in these small kitchen appliances. If you own an Instapot, think about investing in a couple accessories. Uh, they're very affordable and it really helps your Instapot go to the next level. One of my favorites is the air frying lid. So there's an air frying lid. Now here's the thing that I wanted to show you about the Instant Pot. There's a yogurt what? button. I've seen that before. You can make homemade yogurt. Now I gotta tell you, my mom does this. She no doesn't way. have an Instant Pot. She does it with a crock pot. But you pour milk into jars, you put the pot in, you put the pots in there with the water, and overnight it cooks and it makes your own yogurt. What? That is really So neat. you have less sugar, it is not processed, and it's a whole lot cheaper than buying it from the store. Wow, I would I definitely that. try that out. Mm -hmm. You got me with less sugar and less yeah, process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, look at that face. He's, he went. He's, I, he's trying to imagine in his <laughs> mind and how it's funny this because works. I've seen the yogurt button on yes. it before, but and I just like, kind why? of like, what? The, who's making yogurt? Right, in an Instapot. Right. But that is where you make it. And it basically sits overnight. It takes like that eight hours or mm -hmm. whatever else. And then you just cool it in the fridge and then you have your yogurt for when you want it. And to me, like, it's so much more healthy because there's right. not all of that sugar. So yeah. is it plain yogurt and then you plain can add your own fruits and stuff? Okay. Your honey or whatever you want to do. All right, so whatever you're making this weekend, friends, chili soup, enjoy, stay warm. Sounds